happy Monday everybody another week's upon us and the Sun is shining still it's not bad is it not bad not bad at all now as I was it's gonna be very short and sweet today very short and sweet okay um, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel it's right down here just a little, little red word subscribe, press the little bell next to it, you get notified when we produce a new video, so please do that. Keep sending your shout outs into news at sardinesmagazine.co.uk. Here's the address news at sardinesmagazine.co.uk. Okay, every day in the week we, we send out a new shout out and we. On Friday, we pointed out that we just interviewed Janie D from the Curve Theatre in Leicester's big theatre in Leicester, major theatre in Leicester. They're going to be producing Amdram, a um, musical comedy, at the end of May. And we've just interviewed Janie D regarding being in Amdram. And we asked the question was it a bit of a P take or is it a lovable send up of of our the genre that we all participate in you know we don't want to take ourselves too seriously but at the same time we don't want to take the mickey out of ourselves do we and we don't want to have other people taking the mickey out of ourselves too much um, I mean the word amateur has enough of an uphill struggle anyway doesn't it so you know we just want to make sure we're, we're on a bit of an even keel but from the interview something else came about and that's that it's um, a third option and it could be that maybe it's not a pee take maybe it's not even a lovable send up maybe it's just a play um, which picks a subject matter and maybe it's a way to get people back into theatres after lockdown another question mark Janie D brings up but I'm going to read you a little bit of the interview here, just as a little bit of a teaser. And then if you want to, you can, the links below this video, you can go to um, our website and subscribe to the new issue. Janie says to us, I'm very much looking forward to doing Amdram and to being on the Curve Theatre stage again in front of a live audience. Although it is a big commitment, we have chosen to take this window of, an, of opportunity and dip our toes into the proverbial waters and see if audiences want to return to sitting with others or if they're too scared. So maybe the whole thing's a whole experiment. Janie goes on, we don't know how people are going to react. Certainly the people I'm talking to are saying, I can't wait to get back to the theatre. And I think that now... People are having vaccines, wearing masks, doing the whole cleansing thing. I think that it'll be fine, actually, but I don't know for sure. So everyone is a little bit careful at the moment. Um, we just did our first read-through yesterday, and I was thrilled to bits with the production. I think it's a wonderful piece. It's very true to the reality of amateur theatre groups, um, but it's very, very funny. I was doing noises off for the old Vic some years ago, at a posh do connected with that, Jane Doody Dench. Uh, she was interviewed by Richard Eyre, and he said to her, what do you think the difference between amateur and professional is? And Jane, Dame Judy Dench told Richard Eyre, none. We get paid and they don't. That's the difference. And if only it were that simple. Um, we do it for a living in the amateur supplement with a proper job. And I thought, this is Janey talking now again, this is true, we all love it. That's the common ground here, we all love theatre. In my case, one does do it for money. That's not why I say yes to something. I say yes because I love it and sort of need to do it. I know how to work a show. I know how to study the character. I know how to get there on time, how to warm up, how to build the character and then present it to an audience. Recognise all this? How to work out my costumes and my hair. I make sure that the person I'm playing is going to be relevant and resonate to, resonant to somebody in the audience. They should feel that they are watching somebody they believe is real. Interesting. Now, Janie talks a little bit about her character in the play in Amdram. And see if you recognise this. 
Janie plays Diana, a leading lady in her Amdram life, and she's the lead player in GoNet, which stands for the Great Austerly North Amateur Dramatic Society, or GoNeds for short, I guess. Ha ha ha, how hilarious. She sort of takes it for granted. For her, acting is getting a bit harder because she's nearing that time of life when you just need to put your feet up in the afternoon a little bit, you know. Sometimes the lines aren't as sharp in her head as they used to be in her youth. It's a really important learning curve for her in this piece. I can't tell you what happens to her, but without giving too much away, she's woken up by a big turn of events when two new professional people join the amateur group, and one of them is a rival leading actress. Diana takes it for granted that she's going to win another fan. Rose is going to adore her, learn from her, and she embraces her at the start. However, that's before she realises that Rose is going to be taking her role. For all of us, and me as a professional, this is something you have to come to terms with. It's sometimes going to happen that you don't get the role, that somebody else gets it before you. Rejection is just part of the game. And you can read the rest of that interview with Janie D if you subscribe to the next issue, otherwise you won't be able to. So I suggest you click the link below this video, go to the website, you can subscribe just to the digital issue if you want and you get it up in front of you very easily on any mobile device you can read it or, and, you, and you can download the printed PDF if you want to. Um, it's only £7.50 for six months, £12 for a year or if you do want the printed issue it's twenty ninety nine for a year to get the printed issue and you get the free digital subscription as well or for two years it's thirty six ninety nine. that's the most economical way to do it but you've got to shit out the most money at the beginning I guess but there we go that's it for now stay safe stay well we'll be back see you later